Tomorrow is October 1st, 2024. The garden, the windmill garden, is winding down. There's still a lot to harvest there, but now it's time to start focusing on meat production. So, uh, why do you call them locker beef there, Herb? Locker beef is just what we call them here on the ranch. They're freezer beef. They'll be sold as quarters, halves, and whole beefs. Locker beef is just a fun old term. It refers back to when local processing plants rented freezer space, lockers. We brought these five locker beef home from the mountains from mountain grazing back to the ranch about three weeks ago. Let's go check these turkeys out. There's steer number 197. These locker beef are from last year's calf crop. We usually cut off a few goofballs. We'll call this guy a goofball for that white belly and white feet. They just don't go with our load lots of black calves. Tastes just as good though. Here's steer number 199. Nice and fat. Looking good, buddy. Here's little steer number 198. Goofball if I ever saw one. Missing an ear. Just how he's born. It's not gonna affect the taste of the steaks at all. Locker beef number 195 and 196. A couple of goofballs. That's my favorite goofball this year. Bad as a tick. These locker beef will stay out here on the grass until about December. Then I'll bring them in the corral and we'll start feeding them grain and alfalfa cubes. They'll be fed for about two months and make some really good beef. That two months of grain and alfalfa cubes will really put the weight on these steers. I would call the beef we grow here a good choice, choice beef. It's definitely not prime. It's not that marbled. If this is a project that interests you, hit the subscribe button. I'll have quite a few locker beef videos this fall and winter. I want to make this video series to give you a better idea of what it's like buying freezer beef direct from a rancher or farmer. In these videos, I will show you how we raise and finish these steers. We will also show you how we sell them direct. What's the difference between live and hanging weight and how much beef goes into your freezer for what price? Then you will be able to decide if buying a local locker beef is worth it to you. Locker beef or freezer beef, straight from the ranch to your freezer. Food security. Let's go check out the ranch freezer, see the beef. So here's the beef that we processed last February, February 2024. A whole beef will completely load this freezer. This is what we got left. It's October 1st tomorrow. Here's our ground beef. I love the way they vacuum seal that. I'll give you an idea of the fat content of this beef. It's pretty lean. We're all out of rib steaks. Here's a T-bone, New York strip. I'm gonna take these T-bones home and cook them tonight. We'll have steak and peppers. Show you what the beef looks like cooked. So here's dinner tonight. I trimmed those T-bones into strip steaks, peppers, and two onions. Take it easy there, Swanson. Still here? Like this locker beef design? Go to my YouTube homepage or the description of this video. Click on the red bubble link and put this bad boy on a t-shirt, sticker, or apron. See you next time at the Windmill Garden.